Good day, everyone. My name is Njoso Nwaho from South Africa, Rose University. Today, I'm going to talk about a national teacher education program called Fundisa for Change. The aim of the Fundisa for Change program is to enhance transformative environmental learning through teacher education. Fundisa is a closer word that means to teach. The program aims to teach for change. Fundisa for Change is a collaborative and partnership program with partners from the Department of Basic Education, partners from government, partners from parastatals, partners from the environmental sector, and partners from institutions of higher education. The Fundisa for Change program has four sub-objectives that fit into the main objective. But the talk today is gonna to focus on one of the objectives, which is capacity building. The capacity building component of the Fundisa for Change program focuses on teacher professional development. The teacher professional development component focuses on three core components in teacher development. It focuses on content knowledge, teaching practice, and assessment practice. Now the program focuses on content knowledge because the current national school curriculum is a content referenced curriculum. It therefore requires teachers who are knowledgeable about the subjects that they teach. They need to know the subject content knowledge that is required of them by the national school curriculum. The program offers participants what they refer to as a CAPS++ approach, which basically means that the program gives participants content knowledge that goes beyond what has been specified in the subjects they teach in the national school curriculum. Additionally, because the program is a program that wants to strengthen the teaching and learning of environmental learning in the national school curriculum, it puts emphasis on bringing out the environment and sustainability content knowledge that is already integrated in the different subject in the national school curriculum. With the content knowledge, there's also a focus on foundational knowledge. Foundational knowledge is basically the core concepts and core knowledge that teachers need to have in order for them to be able to work with the environment and sustainability content knowledge that has been specified in the subjects that they teach. There is also a focus on the contested, uncertain, and complex nature of environmental issues. There is a recognition that not everything is known about environmental issues and that environmental issues play out differently in different contexts. Teachers therefore need to develop the core knowledge necessary to understand and engage with complex and rapidly changing environmental issues. There is also a focus on conceptual and knowledge progression within and across the grades with regards to environment and sustainability content knowledge. National assessment reports in South Africa show that learners perform poorly in numeracy and literacy. The program therefore wants to support teachers to be able to improve levels of numeracy and literacy in the schooling curriculum. So the program encourages teachers to use teaching methodologies that will develop learners' mathematical skills as well as lead to vocabulary and conceptual development. Hence, a focus on teaching methods that look at reading and writing to learn, looking at active learning, mathematical skills, critical and creative thinking skills, as well as subject-specific pedagogical practices. The teaching practice component is also aimed at encouraging teachers to use teaching methodologies that support transformative learning to help learners to be able to engage with complex environmental issues more actively. For learners to be able to address uh, local environmental issues, teachers need to use teaching methods that will enable learners to develop creative, critical, and problem-solving skills. But there is also a focus on subject-specific pedagogical practices. Because environment and sustainability core content and knowledge takes different forms in the different subjects. The third and last component I'm going to focus on is the assessment practice. 
The South African National School curriculum has placed a greater emphasis on assessment, particularly in the inclusion of higher order questions in how students and learners are assessed across the subjects and across the grades. The school national curriculum is very specific and explicit on what teachers need to assess, how they need to assess, as well as when they need to assess the learners. The curriculum also specifies the cognitive weighting of assessment tasks, which means that how much of higher order thinking should be assessed. So the different levels of thinking skills that need to be assessed are clearly specified in the national curriculum. The program therefore supports teachers to set and develop higher order questions. Because assessment reports have also indicated that our learners, they struggle to respond to higher order questions. Some of the reasons for this could be because they don't get enough practice during the course of the year for them to be able to respond to external assessment that require them to use their higher order thinking skills. So during training, teachers work with case studies on environmental issues and they have to develop questions, low order questions, middle order questions, as well as higher order questions. But there's also a focus on the relationship between how teachers teach and how they assess the content that they have covered with the methodologies that they've used when they There's also a focus on giving learners specific feedback so that they're able to develop and also be able to self-evaluate the work that they do. Because we look at summative as well as formative forms of assessment. Now, the approach that is used by the Fundista for Change program is to work provincially. All the different partners in a province, they come together and they plan the training and implement the training in different districts across the province. The providers of the training are accredited institutions, which are mainly our provincial universities who are partners in the Fundista for Change program, so that at the end of the training, they can give participants a short course certificate. Additionally, teachers also re 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 receive professional development points because the program is also endorsed by the South African Council of Educators, which recognizes that teachers need to continue with professional development and they need to get professional development points that indicate that they are working towards developing themselves professionally. For teachers to be able to get the points as well as to receive a short course certificate, they need to submit a portfolio of evidence, which is basically all the activities that they completed during the training, as well as activities that they need to implement in their work environments and also reflect on that. Once they have submitted that, then they are eligible to receive a short course certificate as well as, develop, and, and as, well as accumulate their professional development points. During training, facilitators work with Fundista for Change teacher education materials. These are the materials that have been developed by partners in the program across the universities, across the different factors. They are multi-institutionally authored. Now we have three core and generic uh, materials as well as subject and phase specific materials. The phase specific materials are for foundation phase, we have some for intermediate phase, we have some for senior phase, and then we have some for further education and training phase, which focuses on the different topics that are environment and sustainability related in order to strengthen the content knowledge around those topics that have been specified in the curriculum. From evaluations that we conduct at the end of the training, teachers seem to appreciate the work that the Fundista for Change program supports them. As a result, they call for more training and they use the teacher education materials to add to the content knowledge that has been specified in the, sub in the textbooks that they work with and they use in their schools. If you want to have more information about the Fundista for Change, go and visit the Fundista for Change website and see what teachers do, the training programs that we have run, as well as the research that has been done in the Fundista for Change. Thank you for your time.